Well, in my further study of the procession hoax scam, I realized this is a very, very big cover-up, very big conspiracy, and a lot of astronomers have died. Probably, my guess is that they figured it out, that there's no procession to the equinoxes, and especially astronomers who observe the sun's activity with what they call a coronagraph. Now, a coronagraph is going to take that little occluder there and it's going to block out the sun so during the daytime you can actually see the background stars against the sun. And since there is no precession to the equinox, during the solstice you're still you're going to see the same location of the background stars in relation to the sun. Now this particular coronagraph animation is not during the solstice but it gives you an idea. You, you can see over here in the bottom left, the Milky Way uh, band. You can see like, you know, the nebula of the band approaching it. And so it's going to happen on 1221 here in this particular animation. And so that's what they're failing to tell you. And so now you know why many astronomers have died mysteriously. This article here is called Dead Astronomers Report Volume 1 and there's a couple here that I've taken interest of. See they have they have a solar observatory in Hawaii it's on uh, the main island it's called Mauna what was it called? Mauna Lea, I think. Let me search for it real quick here. Mauna. Mauna. Mauna Kea. And then there's another one. There's like two Mount two observatories here. One's Mauna Kea. And then there's another one. Mauna Loa. And there's a bunch of telescopes on the Hawaiian Island. Some, we, we, lo and behold, we have the United States Naval Observatory there. Naval Observatory. And, you know, they fake all the SETI imagery. You know, the Stereo A and the Stereo B satellites that are supposed to be 93 million miles away. <laughs> I got a bridge to sell you. <laughs> so, um... They're in on it too. The United States Navy is in on this cover up. It's big. And these these scientists are, you know, car accidents, you know, just freaky accidents that they're dying. One guy is called Richard Crow. He was from the University of Hawaii at Hilo. Hilo is the main city on the main island there. And so uh, he had access to the solar observatory. He had access to the coronagraph. He was able to see that there was no sol there was no procession of the equinox during the solstice. Uh, there's another guy here that worked with him, an older gentleman. I think his name was Steiger. Steiger, yeah, Walter Steiger, University of Hawaii. Uh, he he died in a moped accident. <laughs> You know, he's 87, you would think that you know, he would have died of old age, but no. A motor vehicle scooter collision. Uh, some freak, I'll give you the link here, freaky accidents here, but yeah, now it now makes sense. You have, you know, there's probably a good 50, I'm just guessing off the top of my head astronomers that have mysteriously died since 1983 on this page. Robert Little. Um, Shoemaker. Remember Shoemaker? Shoemaker-Levy Comet. Eugene Shoemaker. He died. I found the article about him. There you go. Eugene Shoemaker. And, get this, his observatory was burned to the ground one day later. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I just, this is... Uh, 
quite obvious. A big cover up. Shoemaker Levy Comet. Remember that? <laughs> I think what's his name? Pillbox was actually uh, accusing me of uh, starting a Shoemaker Levy cult. <laughs> um, I'm 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 not trying to be disrespectful by laughing at this. I just, I just find this, you know, once you realize the main problem, you know what to look for. You know, you realize that it's it has to do with uh, viewing the sun against the background stars with a coronagraph. And you realize that, you know what, amateurs can't really get a hold of a coronagraph. Let me find that one page I was looking at. A coronagraph requires very high quality optic optics assembled in a dust-free atmosphere. Near sea level, an amateur grade coronagraph would be virtually useless. NASA scientists say because the scattered light from the Earth's atmosphere would overwhelm light from the corona. Scientific chron chron chronographs are, putting high, are put high in the mountains or launched into space. And so that's why we have them in Hawaii. High in the mountains in Hawaii and other places where they're, you know, it's not for private. It's not for amateurs. And if you do have a chronograph and you are an amateur, you're going to be discredited by what you view. If you if you happen to see the sun during the solstice and see those same background stars year in year out every single year in the same location during the solstice, you're going to be discredited, or you're going to be hushed, you're going to be silenced. I'm still waiting to hear back from Astronomy Live, Scott. I think he went into hiding. So what does it say? Well, it says that this is the end of the world as we know it because I just exposed the biggest cover-up in the universe. And it has to do with the fact that there's no precession to the equinox. <clears throat> Obviously, there's no spin to the Earth. You're living inside the concave Earth. And so this is big. You know, what can I say? And this is the whole reason why there's a Flat Earth PSYOP movement out there to obviously muddy the waters with the information that I'm presenting about the true shape of the earth and about this big cover-up. So, you know, the Navy is involved. Probably people like Mark Sargent are involved to deflect, throw red herrings out there so you don't, you know, to dis discredit me, you don't hear the truth about what I have to present. This, this take, I'm taking down the entire sta establishment of <laughs> little old me, Lord Stephen Christ. Uh, this is a Richard Crow's Jeep accident. So, it's what, you know, come on. This is, this is why, this is why all these astronomers are dead. Because I figured it out. I mean, come on. These are smart individuals. Once you realize that there's no procession of the equinox and heliocentrism is a big hoax, a big scam, you know, what are you going to do? You know, you're going to be watched by the government and you're going to, you know, they're going to test you whether or not you're going to be complicit to them. You know? And so... If, you know, if you're a loose cannon, you're going to die. So. But they know. They know that their time is almost up. And so, you people out there who know this truth, you better take allegiance with me. Because if you don't, <laughs> you're not protected. You are not protected you got to understand that I have allies. That I have people who are on the bad side who want to be on the good, good side and so they need to come clean. You know? Plea bargain. Plea bargain with the Lord. Come clean. Come out. Come out. You know who you are. So this is the end of the world as we know it, folks. This is it. This is the whole reason why we have this alternative, alternative, <laughs> I can 
to speak, alternative earth shape debate going on in YouTube land. And Flat Earth is definitely a red herring psyop to distract away from my message. So, coronagraph, you know. And so the, the coronagraphs that they show you from, you know, inner space, whether it's SOHO or any non-terrestrial satellite, is going to be fudged. They're going to CG out the stars. They're going to displace the stars, you know, make it look like <laughs> the procession of the Earth is happening. Or maybe it doesn't really matter if you're above, if, you know, if you're not on the Earth, according to them, maybe, you know, they can, procession is not going to be that much of a, much of an issue. But that's what's really happening. So many dead scientists. And they're, you know, Astronomers, come on, they know. I mean, you can you realize if you look through a telescope, you know, professional grade telescope for long enough, you realize that the sun is always crossing the galactic equator during the solstice. You realize that this redshift is actually just glass fringing, chromatic fringing. You realize that what they call gravita gravitational lensing is just glass lensing. You come on, they're not that stupid. <laughs> so there you have it, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. So uh, I'm expecting phone calls. I'm expecting emails from whistleblowers. My email is Stevie the Fox at Yahoo.com. Email me if you want to come clean. If you want to be safe, if you value truth, if you love God, contact me.